Hey guys, so I wanted to be transparent. I am very nervous about making this video and if you guys are seeing it, it's because I had the balls to upload it. Um, it is Mother's Day. I am so just emotionally um, broken today. I, I don't want to go into, you know, details why. I'm sure you guys can probably process why. So... I'm going to be doing a lot of emotional eating and I already know it's going to happen because I have some food in front of me. So I kind of want to make this video to show you guys how it is for me on a day where I just do not care. I want to eat all my feelings. I want to binge. I feel possessed for the whole day. Like I don't care. Like I'm not myself. Kind of like I'm on the outside watching myself and I just wanted to show you guys kind of what that looks like for me and it's unfortunate and this is kind of just what it is. So this is a what I ate today binge. I don't know what to call this. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing I'm going to eat. So I ordered Mexican food. Here are the chips, Mexican rice, and we have some tamales. Honestly, this looks freaking delicious. So I am super pumped and I'm going to watch a TV show while I eat this and numb all my feelings. So here I go. Okay, so this is how much I've left of this and the rice. I did eat some chips. So it has been no more than a minute since I stopped eating my food. And I have candy. I have Twix. I have Snickers. I have a caramel, simply caramel Milky Way. And a regular Milky Way. So, I will show you guys exactly how many I choose to eat. Um, each pack of these has six in them, so you guys will be able to tell how many I've eaten by how many are left, so I'm going to eat some of those. So, I ended up having all of the Twix. Um, this is the stage where I feel guilt. I honestly was feeling sick because I ate so much. The minute I started eating the Twix, I just kept doing it. Um, I was having guilt and um, now I'm ashamed and mad at myself and I wish I could take it all back. But as it's happening, you, you just can't control it. It is by far one of the most frightening feelings in the world. Hey, so I have finally gotten ready for the day. That's why I look different. Um, so this is the stage in my day. This is like complete honesty in this video. I'm almost like ashamed and embarrassed, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is the stage after the binge. It's been a couple hours where you're like, okay, so I wanna change my life. I don't ever wanna, overeat again and so in my head I do these drastic measures where I'm like okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop eating everything processed I'm just gonna eat simple things like chicken breast baked in the oven I'm gonna have broccoli and veggies on the side and I'm gonna have like brown rice and just eat super clean that is the stage that I'm at now so hello um and this is what I constantly and continuously do all the time I might be down over 70 pounds but these problems and these issues are still here and I feel like they're going to be still here to stay but as long as I am making continuous progress that's a good thing okay you guys so the next thing I'm eating and before anyone says anything yes I changed my clothes again because I filmed another video sometimes I'll film like three or four videos a day just depending on my mood sometimes I'll just film one but I always make sure to change my clothes if I remember to because I don't want to be wearing 
the same thing in every video, but I had to get something off my chest. You guys have either saw that or will be seeing that. Who knows? So next thing I'm having is a whole box of the Pastaroni. It is an angel hair pasta with herbs flavor. It is a whole bowl, literally a whole bowl. And right now, this is more so like an emotional eating moment because I'm frustrated because of the, the video I just had to film frustrated me. And let's see, is food going to make me feel better? It is. Realistically, it is. Mm, I already feel better. And that's emotional eating for you. And a food addict. Okay. I'm also going to have another Diet Coke. I drank a little bit of water earlier. Probably wasn't enough, but I drank it a little bit. I'll have more water later. I'm having some major heartburn. I feel like it's from the chocolate. And in this moment, I don't care. I'm telling myself I'm still gonna have more chocolate later. This video is so honest. Whew. But I'm telling you guys literally my thought process on everything. My next thought process is I'm about to go to my bedroom, stuff my face with this, have candy, which I'll show you while watching one of my favorite TV shows. So, and that excites me. So I am about to have some of these Snickers. I'll let you know how many I have. And by the way, they are just the fun size. I mean, just for people curious, for one of them is 80 calories, which I haven't shared calories on anything today, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea. Well, I ate all six. So that's that. So the next thing I'm having, it's been, um, I'll say about four hours since I last ate. And I'm having just pasta with some melted butter and garlic salt. And then I'm also going to have this Nestle vanilla fudge drumstick. So that's what I'm about to have now. So that is everything that I ate for the day. Um, it was a lot of overeating, a lot of not caring. My stomach hurts. It's kind of crampy. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day where I'm not like tracking calories or being healthy. A lot of people in the comments ask, how does this girl become so big? Like, what does she eat? I can understand that if I was, if I was smaller, I would be curious too. Like, what do bigger people eat? So if this is for educational purposes or to hate on me, let's just do this thing. Okay, you guys, so the chili is done. This is what it looks like. I have it in a really cute cat cup, as you can see. And I am going to be adding some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. And I just figured I would show you guys, whoops, how much I will be using. Cause bye, have fun. See ya. <laughs> Cause that is the point of this video. So. That's about how much I will be using of that. And for um, something to drink, I will be having a diet. I just hit myself in the face with it. I will be having a diet Coke. Um, no sugar, no calories. I mean, let's try it. I do prefer ground turkey, so that is an issue, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay with this hamburger. That is some actual cheese right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Who is so 
so hot I could barely chew on it. I just swallow it. It's amazing though. I need to let this cool off. So good. So I'm actually gonna have some of these cheddar and sour cream chips. I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, eat the rest of them. How much is in there? That much. And then I'm gonna have some of these mint chocolate cookies. I'll show you guys what they look like. I'll probably have three or four of these. Actually, ended up having seven of these. That's crazy to say it out loud. As I was eating them, it didn't even feel like seven of them. So ah, now I have no more. Okay, you guys. So it's been hours later. And I want some more chili. So I have that warming up and here, look how good that looks, guys. So as good as it is with cheese, it actually doesn't need it. So I'm not going to be putting cheese on it on this bowl. This bowl is pretty hefty, as you guys can tell, compared to my hand. I mean, my hand is also pretty small, but... Yeah. So I finished my chili, but I forgot to show you guys. I'm also having a Sprite Zero. So I got some creamy milk chocolate. It's a symphony bar and it's freaking huge. And I got a bag of peaches. It's like a gummy candy. I did not finish these. I ate um, half, of the uh, half of the symphony bar. God, I hate voiceovers. And I ate about half of uh the peaches so uh eric also had a little bit of that so i do have more of that later on i got hungry for something salty so i had a chili flavor ramen noodle which this is like one of my favorites it's super good totally unhealthy um i crunch mine up and i do cook mine in the stove i know a lot of people cook it in the microwave i've been liking my soups and chilies in mugs i know that might be weird but here is the completed dish it was really soothing on this cold snowy night it was super good and ramen never fills me up so it's something i definitely need to stop eating because it's just a waste so something that i have drank today that i forgot to tell you guys about is a diet pepsi I drink about three diet sodas a day. I really want to focus on drinking more water. I don't see an issue with some diet freaking soda. Uh, I just don't. I know there's controversy. Becky's arm. Twinkie's face. <laughs> but um, I know there's like controversy like, oh my god, diet soda is like the worst. Like, And then there's some people who's like, no, regular soda is the worst. And like people are still back and forth. In my opinion... When I lost 89 pounds, I don't mean to bring this up because I know it's in the past, but I drank diet soda on the daily. I actually drank like six a day and there were always different flavors and kinds and it never made me gain weight. It actually helped me um, curb, curve, curb, grammar. Um, I don't know which one, which word it is. Curb or curve the cravings that I was having for like soda. I really like diet soda, so... Anyways, I'm going on a spiel about that. So that was everything I ate today. <sighs> this video was very eye-opening. Hey guys. Okay, so welcome to a new video. Today, Today's video is just going to be what I ate today. So. so my first meal is chicken parmesan with some broccoli. So... Literally just broccoli. And then over here is the chicken. And that's like a marinara cheese sauce. Let's dive into that. Cheers. Mm. So good. Who says cheers? before they eat. I swear it's a mukbanger, but what mukbanger is it? I 
I'm drawing a blank. They're like, cheers. Is it Chantel? I don't know. I know she says, here's the beauty bite. I don't know. Someone says it. Look how white that meat is. Just the way I like it. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this now. And I, before I forget, this is 410 calories. Okay, you guys, so it is now for time for my second meal. Meal is 550 calories. So what it is, is it's broccoli. It is turkey meatballs and it is cauliflower potato mash. It's half cauliflower, half potatoes, and it's like mashed potatoes, but with cauliflower as well. And there's like a little bit of a gravy moment. So this has been one of my most favorite meals. And to you guys, it's not gonna look good. You guys are gonna say it looks gross, but I'm just letting you know, you're not the ones eating it. I am, and it's delicious to me. So this is what it looks like. You guys, I'm not even lying. I love this meal so much. It's so good, so filling. So since that's 550 calories, that means I have had a total of 960 calories today. Once I eat this, let's do a little mukbang moment. So yeah, like that's the mashed right there with some gravy and I like to take a bite with all of it at once. So it is like a, a big bite, but it's so good. Mm. I'm telling you, this is good. So far, I've just had water. Um, I will be having probably a diet soda later. I went through a few months where I just had water, but I love me diet soda. So this happens all the time where I am doing a what I ate today video and I forget that I am doing it and then halfway through the day I stop filming and I'll just delete the video. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to let you guys know that I did just eat totally forgot to film it it was morning star buffalo veggie patties and i had the whole bag which for a serving is 220 calories three servings per bag so it was 660 calories and i had a little bit of ranch on the side so that was like another like 150. so i've had about 1600 calories 1700 like around there um i'm probably gonna end the night with this little these little, they're bluebell ice creams. There's just like vanilla and chocolate. I do allow myself to have, you know, like a sweet thing if I want it. And um, they're about 160 calories per one. It's just like this tiny little cup. And it's actually really satisfying. Um, if I'm feeling risky, sometimes I'll have two. Honestly, they're super small. Um, we just get them from Walmart. And um, it's just nice to have like that little sweet thing at the end of the night because again I don't want to like deprive myself because I feel like that's what makes me binge and if there are days where I'm feeling like over the edge then I'll only allow myself to have one or whatever but um yeah so that was my what I ate today video so I'm actually about to film just like a what I ate today video it, there is no watching calories nothing this is just like what I've been not what I've been eating but it's the mind frame I've been having is just like eat whatever <sighs> I'm not on track so this is a what I ate today off track so I'm going to show you what I'm eating right now right here so this is the first meal that I'm eating. I kind of just winged this. That's like what I've been doing for all my meals is just throwing stuff together. But honestly, it seems like every time I do come up with something, it tastes really good. So here we just have some pasta. 
I cut up some onion. There is some tomato. I did add some corn. There is a tiny bit of pesto. It just adds the smallest bit of flavor. We have garlic salt, onion powder, pepper, and I think that's it when it comes to seasonings. Oh, and the tiniest bit of like a chicken broth. I'm talking like the smallest bit ever. And then I also put some butter. So this is my first meal. It looks pretty tasty. And I am using my phone light. So that's why it looks like that because it is dark. My sleeping schedule is horrible. So first meal. So here it is. Amberlynn's eating on camera. What are we going to do about it? I don't even know. It's so good. I haven't had pasta like this in a long time. Like, my favorite is angel hair or the bow tie. I also really like shells. And then for a drink, we have a sparkling ice, classic lemonade. So I almost forgot I was filming a video and it's been a little bit since I last updated you guys and I'm having another bowl of pasta. You guys, so it has been some hours. Next thing I'm eating is some Captain Crunch in my Pioneer Woman bowl. So yeah, and we're also gonna watch a movie. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so it's time for my first meal. I'm going to be having a cottage cheese. This is three points. I like to add pepper to my cottage cheese. Always done it, always will. And I add a pretty big portion of pepper. I also add tapatio for a little spice. What's really good is if you have some pretzels and then use this as dip. Yes. So now that this is done, I love cottage cheese. I'll also be having an apple. I'm just gonna bite it like that, but I'm gonna eat that after I eat this. All right, you guys, time for the next meal. I am having air. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bowl of some sort we're gonna start with shredded lettuce so obviously this is zero points for the lettuce so i'm just gonna use i'm not sure how much actually so this is the whole bag that's a little much but i'm hungry so y'all it's just lettuce next thing i have is this is jenny o ground turkey with some taco seasoning and I'm going to show you guys all of the points after this it's on a plate because I already measured it all out so we're gonna add that now I am adding a serving of corn which is half of a cup see if I was on any other of the plans the meat and the corn would have been zero points but since I'm on the green plan, it is points. So I have to measure it, I have to weigh it. Next, I'm gonna be adding some Fritos. A serving is 32 chips. And I'm pretty sure this was five points for a serving, so not bad. I just like to have some crunch. So that's how it's looking so far. Next, I'm going to add salsa. I don't have to measure this because it's zero points plus, you know, it's low calories. I'm trying not to think of calories, but it naturally just comes to my brain. I love salsa. And this is gonna be my dressing, if you will. So we have salsa. Last but not least, I'm going to just add some raw onion. That adds really, really good flavor in my opinion. So I feel like this is gonna taste 
mighty good. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's do a taste test. Oh, this is huge. I'm gonna be stuffed. I was gonna add ranch. I know it sounds weird, but spicy ranch with like taco guts. This is taco guts. Actually tastes really good, I'm not gonna lie. But I was like, nah, I don't need it. But yeah, this is taco guts recipe. Mmm. <gasps> yeah. Holy crap, that's good. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Time for a little snacky snacky skinny cow vanilla gone wild sandwich, ice cream sandwich. It looks like this and it is seven. All right, so it is time for my next meal. I have been up cleaning. I am exhausted, super thirsty. So I got some cold water, but what has been helping me so far stay on track, honestly, is not having rules for my meals. My meals don't have to make sense. They don't have to be in a certain order. I just eat what I want and whatever fits into my points. So this is what I'm having. I'm having carrots, hummus, salami, and two mini bagels with cheese, pepper jack cheese. So carrots, zero points. Hummus was five. Salami, seven. The mini bagels, seven. The cheese, six. Okay, so at the end of the night, I choose what snacks I want. And then I put them in this baggie and this is the this is the only thing you get for the rest of the night baggie. So I have the option to eat them all at once, to eat them sporadically, whatever it is. First thing I chose, I'm gonna try the cheesy pizza protein puffs, one point. I'm gonna have mac and cheese potato sticks, two points. I'm gonna have chocolate caramel snack bar, two points, and a peanut butter pie chocolate, two points. Seems like a lot of snacks, but it's really not. Like these are super tiny, like compared to my hand, you can even tell. This is kind of like the fun size of like candy bars. So they're super small, two or three bites. So I put them in here and I know for the rest of the night, that is what I am having.